Hello, Shoot Fist Productions back again. I've got here my trusty Gamel PT85 Tactical. Um, the reason we're coming back to it is because um, we've done a video on this probably a couple of years ago. It's one of our most popular videos. And when I look back at it personally, I don't think it's that great a video, but the, the, uh, the YouTubers seem to enjoy it. And uh, this is a very popular gun. And um, I'm just going to show it, show it to you again briefly for those of you who, who don't want to watch the longer video. So there it is, the Gamel PT85 Tactical. It's a blowback pistol. Um, this sight came with it and it's got all these other attachments. If you want to see about all that, um, perhaps watch the other video. Um, but it's got a, a magazine in the bottom. It's an 8 shot mag. Turn it around, you've got another 8 shot. So 16 shots. And this has got a fresh gas tank in it, so what we're going to do, we've got a grill graph here and we're going to put some shots for it to just show you what sort of power that's got. That was one of the questions that kept coming up. And another question that came up more than once was, does this come off? And we did show it in the last video, but I'll, again I'll just show it to you once more. This unscrews, that's not a silencer or suppressor, it's just a fake sleeve just to make it look cool. That's your actual gun barrel inside there, and um, you can't you can't take that out and have a short barrel. That is it. That's fixed, and um, looks cool. Uh, the longer barrel gives it more foot poundage and velocity, um, and again we'll show you that in a minute for for a little gas gun. The power of this is quite quite good, uh, quite impressive. Uh, and if we can catch it on video uh, or slow it down, so you can see the blowback slide there as well. Uh, nice little sight on the top there but obviously we're just going to be doing it on, on the on the crony. So we've got the crony all set up. This is the LMBR chronograph. We use it in all our videos. Great little machine. Very versatile. No problems with light and all the rest of it. So here we go. Eight shots. You get two mags with a gun and to be honest if you shot both mags on one gas tank you're doing well. So you're looking at 32 shots but they start going down in power quite a bit after probably after the first mag to be honest so um, that's great fun um, so we'll put it through the crony now uh, give you some idea what sort of power and have a listen to it and um, we'll do a zoom in on the slide and take it from there so what I'll do I'll I'll just pump all the shots through then I'll give you an average of um, what the poundage and the feet per second was so let me just turn it off and on again and I'll reset it Okay, here we go. Safety off. Mm -hmm. Say when you're ready. Yep. I'll just run through the crony now so you can get an idea. Okay, we've got eight shots, average feet per second, no sorry, average foot poundage 3.23, uh, velocity average 446. So right guys, while I'm here, I've got the crony out, that was pretty short, so what I'm going to do is grab another um, a rifle this time. I don't, I don't think we've done a video on this before, we probably briefly show it in one of our Sort of combination videos. This is the Crossman 1077. Um, just today we put this little hawk sight on just to try it out to see if it fitted and it does very well. I would say the actual sights on this rifle um, are actually really very good and that's almost like you can't mess with it. Um, it's quite short and really nice and comfortable uh, to put the gas in. You unscrew this thing here and it's got like a rod on it. And you put the gas cartridge in, nose down, screw that up and done. Um, this is quite neat. Um, I select the magazine and there's a little slide lever there. Take that out and your, your cartridge comes out. You can see that one is that's half shot, that one. I'll fill that up in a second. Um, they can only go back in one way and you just got to make sure you get your pellets facing the right way. And once that's done, you get, you get four of these that come with the gun. Just push it in, click. The safety is a little slide across the bolt there, that just locks the trigger. And that's it guys, very light. I did actually take this one apart and I put silicone grease on all the moving plastic parts. So 
To be honest, that was quite fiddly. I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you've got a problem with the gun. Um, but there are other videos on YouTube that show you how to take them all the bits and make adjustments and all the rest of it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this through the crony, just so you get some idea what sort of power that is. And um, we'll take it from there. So we've got 7.3 gram pellets. I'm quite close here. Last time we'd done this, when we got too close to the crony, that was measuring the gas rather than the pellet. So um, I'm going to just skip back a little bit. And... Safety off. Uh, it's also quite loud, I must add as well. Right, that'll do, just to give us a good idea. Uh, seven shots, average 3.66 feet per second. Velocity average 474. Right, well, that's what it is, guys. Um, I've tested this previously and I got like five and a half foot pound, or well, that was probably that was warm, in the summer. A warm summer day, so temperature and weather can, I mean, there's what the temperature sound is about 15 degrees here at the minute, so um, temperature can make quite a big difference. When I tested my PPQ once before when that was warm, that, that, that read a lot more foot pound than when I was cooler. So, Bear that in mind, um, that, that can make a huge difference to temperature on your gas and, and how powerful your gun is. So thanks for watching, um, we'll be back soon. And, um